My name is Ashley Tankersley. I work at Hillsborough Community College. I manage international student recruitment. We have university transfer plans to get you where you want to go. We actually share articulation agreements with all of Florida's 12 public universities, as well as a handful of schools across the country, which basically means that um, after your two years of study with us, you automatically will get admitted and accepted into any of those um, schools that we share agreements with. Number two, we have a nationally recognized honors um, program at the school and it's for academically motivated students and basically the director of the Honors Institute is ensuring that her students are um, not only getting good grades but uh, working on public speaking skills, volunteering outside the classroom, com um, completing community service hours, uh, just making them a well-rounded, more attractive candidate so they can transfer to elite institutions, um, your Ivy Leagues and things like that. Number three, we actually have on-campus housing. A lot of community colleges do not. And each student gets their own private bedroom and private bathroom. They just share the kitchen and living room area. And there's a pool, a beach volleyball court. It's a lot of fun. Um, number four, like other community colleges, we cap our classroom sizes off at about 30 students or less in the classroom. So you get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with the professor that way. And lastly, again, like other community colleges, OPT is huge. That's optional practical training. And it's basically a paid internship that you're permitted to do on your F1 international student visa. And you can only do it when you complete a program. So if a student attends a community college first uh, and you get your associate's degree, you can do a year of a paid internship then. Um, and actually, if your plans to earn a bachelor's degree, you can essentially do OPT two times, once after your associate's degree, and you can do it again after you complete your bachelor's. So I we are the Sunshine State, and that's because we have the most beautiful weather and year-round sunshine. That's number one. Uh, number two, Tampa is actually ranked the second best large U.S. city for undergraduate students. Number three, Tampa is actually the, uh, one of the top 10 safest metro areas in the U.S. Definitely our AA, the Associates of Arts degree programs, those are the transfer programs and those are the programs that are going to get you into university. They're the ones that you're going to select to study if your ultimate goal is to get your bachelor's degree. Famous wrestler Hulk Hogan went to HCC, but my favorite is uh, when I'm traveling, um, just meeting all those famous or great alumni for Hillsborough Community College. I'll give you one quick example. Um, during my last trip to Jordan, I was in an education fair and it was hosted by the U.S. Embassy and in jazz. It's during the opening evening reception, the executive director of in jazz came up to me and said, oh, I'm so happy someone from HCC is here. I attended HCC in the 80s. I did a two plus two. And to me, it's those moments like unexpected alumni that come up to me and tell me about their success story that truly are inspiring to me. One thing that students usually don't find out until they can physically come to campus is our family-like environment. So our office ends up feeling a little bit like a home away from home to a lot of students. 